SMT Nation, we back. Folks, in today's episode of F Your Feelings, uh, we are going to be taking a look at Verizon Network updates across the country. A uh, big emphasis on Ohio today, and I can share some great things with you guys. You've already seen some of this. All right, so I'm super excited about this, and I'll explain what I mean by you've already seen some of it. All right, so uh, the news, I'll provide the links. They'll be in the description for all these press releases from Verizon. You know, these same updates we're getting, you know, very vocal. Verizon has been dropping a lot of these articles and press releases to show that they are upgrading the network. This is the same thing that we did in coverage with respect to T-Mobile when they were upgrading 5G UC, right? So we're going to do the same thing for all the carriers that provide them, all right? So link for the press releases will be in the description. Also, the real SMT Buy Me a Coffee link is there. Show your appreciation for all the content here on the channel. Support us. That's one way to do it. There are others. And if you're looking for a great deal on wireless service, you can get it from our partner, Mint Mobile. Best value in the game. Legendary customer care. You can't beat it. You'll support the channel by using our partner link, mintmobile.com forward slash. need to get those deals and uh, take advantage of their offers. Okay, so the first update here is upgrades in Akron. All right, so uh, the home of LeBron James. All right, Akron, which is, um, you know, when I think the engineering team is for Verizon, when they... When they do their engineering organization, I think Cleveland Akron is viewed as a segment. All right, so that's maybe something important to note. Uh, maybe that explains why the network seems to be so good between these two locations, right? Similar engineering teams and the asset allocation and spending and budget. All right, let's take a look at the upgrades. We have millimeter wave upgrades happening there, and we have C-band happening there. 99% of people in Akron now have access to Verizon's 5G network, most notably 5G ultra wideband services. New macro cell sites have been deployed, providing coverage to Talmadge and two new small cells in Uniontown. Don't you guys love that detail? They tell you what they did and they tell you where they did it. You gotta love it. Additionally, the C band spectrum details 60 megahertz of bandwidth. By the end of the year, we're talking 140 megahertz. Of spectrum so you're gonna see you know more than double the bandwidth coming to market here all right and of course that means 5g home internet that means a more capacitive mobile network experience and I'm pretty sure Verizon has a pretty sizable market share in this area if it's anything like Cleveland that's for sure uh, additionally the most important thing we know the lifeblood of a network is the fiber optic circuits right the the fiber that's run to the towers 10 times the amount of data. This means we got 10 gig fiber going to these sites. All right, great stuff for the fine folks of Akron, Ohio. Next, we got Youngstown also in Ohio. This one's a little bit um, southeast of Cleveland, right? So Akron is, I don't know, 30, 35 miles south of Cleveland. Uh, this would be south and east, closer to Pittsburgh. Uh, you've got the same type of treatment here, folks. All right, upgrades including millimeter wave, upgrades including C-band. All right, it says 88% of people in Youngstown now have access to 5G service from Verizon. I don't think Youngstown is as developed as Cleveland or uh, Akron for that matter, but I think you know Verizon probably has a sizable market share there. Right, 88% of people have in service in the 5G from Verizon. It indicates expanded coverage and capacity in Boardman, a suburb of Youngstown, installing a new cell site for Verizon. Uh, it says here, uh, customers still using Verizon's reliable 4G LTE network. So that means there are probably customers within these areas that have legacy devices and are still heavy usage focused on the LTE side and haven't upgraded to 5G. Right, So they're still supporting that. You've got CBRS, you've got the small cells that have all their LTE bands you know, in action. They've got additional small cells planned for the southern portion of Boardman along Market Street, which is Ohio Route 7, Boardman High School, that's probably important, uh, lots of usage, and then Southwoods Common Shopping Plaza. Man, I, I love that because that's going to keep the traffic off of macro cells. Very, very good. 60 megahertz of C-band, so there's your bandwidth. Uh, additionally, we got the 10 gig circuits. You guys see that down here. Okay, so again, 5G home internet for the folks as an option in Youngstown and Boardman. Uh, and then, of course, the advanced, um, better, highly more capacitive, you know, 5G mobile experience. 
And last but not least with Ohio, we got our Cleveland upgrades. All right, you guys know we had to look at this one. All right, what are they doing in the CLE? Uh, new cell sites to extend coverage and capacity in local communities. Uh, let's see here. They talk about Root. You know, Verizon did very well in Root. We have millimeter wave upgrades. We have C-band upgrades. 99% of people in Cleveland now have access to 5G service from Verizon. Yeah, it's very true. Very seldomly do I ever actually have a primarily LTE connection. Usually the only time I'm on LTE by network force is when I'm really close to a small cell that has CBRS. The configuration pushes you on to the band 48, which is like 500 megabits per second. So it's not even a bad thing. Uh, let's see what they said here. 4G LTE support. Numerous cell sites to expand coverage along I-306, Bainbridge Town Place. Okay, so Bainbridge is like way out east, I think. Uh, Westlake, I'm very familiar with. That's actually where I went to school as a young one. All right, so I know that area very well. And you guys have seen my posts on Twitter. And you have seen my testing on the videos. I have shown you how much they've done in Westlake. They've got macros every mile. You guys remember the Travelers of America tower site that's on the roof? That's Westlake. Uh, they've got every macro cell. They've got tons of small cells going up there, right? Uh, by the way, this Bay Village site, they're talking about small cells planned for Bay Village. It's already built. It's already done. I've got pictures. I can probably go and test it now. It's probably live. Fairview Park, I can go and show you guys that. Rocky River and Westlake, I can show you all these things. Uh, Rocky River, I've shown you the small cells. You guys have seen it. The one that's like a mile away from the millimeter wave rooftops with the millimeter wave street sites. It, folks, it's impressive what they're doing in this part of Cleveland. 60 megahertz of C-band. That'll bump up to 140 megahertz by end of year. 10 gig circuits across the board. They're doing big things here. And the last thing here is Daytona. All right, so we're talking about Florida. Let's see what they're getting. All right, they're getting C-band upgrades. I don't see any mention of millimeter wave, but... They're getting the 100 megahertz C-band treatment. All right, so they're getting a little bit more mid-band bandwidth compared to, say, for example, the Ohio markets that we just covered. But they are getting the 10 gig fiber circuit upgrades, which indicates they are going to be very, very capacitive and lots of spectral efficiency. All right, folks, so the reason I started this episode as F your feelings, right? I do these updates to let people know where the upgrades are happening. Right, to let people know that Verizon is on the up and up when it comes to spending money and upgrading their network. There is a very loud minority that seems to try to push a narrative that they're not doing anything anywhere, and that simply is not the case. I've never seen a more active carrier with respect to the pace of upgrades because they're obviously emphasizing and building out their top 50 markets. They're also working on the next 50 and they're still, you know, upgrading in rural America. And we've indicated this. We've done all these videos showing how busy they are. So any type of narrative that they're not aggressive, any type of narrative that they're not active, it's just not true. From a national scale, these guys are working very hard. The tower crews are busy. The technicians are busy. The engineers are busy. And the network, which has become very, very large, and in some places very old, is starting to finally show the modernization process. It is tangible, it is noticeable, it's apparent in open signal, it's apparent in Ookla reports, it's apparent in root metrics. And it's good to see. We want people across the country to be able to have three solid options in Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile, and they can choose who they want on things other than the network, right? As long as the network is good from all three, you get to pick on perks, benefits, add-ons, you know, all the types of different discounts you might qualify, or maybe it is network. Maybe you just need the best network possible. And this indicates that this is what Verizon is doing, at least that much we could say, right? Uh, expect more updates in the future. I'll let you guys know what's going on across the country for Verizon. I'll tell you all about it as the news drops. And don't forget, we've got more spectrum coming on air from C-Band. All this FAA stuff is behind us. The rest of the C-Band will clear Millimeter wave will get new emphasis. Small cells, new emphasis. Ericsson markets are getting the 100 megahertz C-band treatment. Uh, we're seeing some at 140, 180. Uh, we're seeing additional Samsung markets that are going to be cleared for more spectrum. Exciting times, folks. Stay tuned. Verizon is at 220 million pops. 
We're expecting something to drop from them at earnings to indicate that, and we should see probably closer to 240 million pops by the end of the year. Exciting times, folks. Sound off in the comment section below. Hit me with your favorite hashtag. All the real ones know. Hashtag Verizon, hashtag 5G, hashtag 5GUW, whatever you like. Y'all the real ones, and hit me with a comment. Y'all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.